Morning guys, just gone six o'clock. We're getting ready to roll out to the show. Look what's just turned up behind me. Uh, Codex rolled in at about three o'clock this morning. These guys have not stopped since we left Huntington Beach uh, almost about 48 hours ago. They literally haven't slept. They slept on the couch for two hours last night. I'm so excited to reveal uh, this truck. It's still not 100% complete. The big tires aren't on. Uh, the suspension's not in. There's a lot of details that still need finished, but look, it's good enough uh, to show everybody, I think, what the plan is uh, with this vehicle and this Hemi just sounds amazing. Three o'clock this morning, I heard it rumbling down the road. Jumped out of bed all excited, come here and met the crew and they just absolutely hammered. But let's get down to the show. Uh, we're gonna get set up this morning and um, I think it is going to be an absolutely awesome weekend. I cannot wait. Made it Overland Expo West. So behind me is the Patriot Campers Exploration Outfitters booth, and you see the uh, Codex, and the thing has just been received unbelievably. What do you reckon the response has been like to everything? Oh. Wow. Like, wow. Like everyone loves it. We get mobbed about it. Yeah, we're just getting absolutely mobbed. So the whole PCOR thing's been received. Awesome. Oh, dude, I've, I've got so many people asking so many questions. Like, can yeah. I have this one? Can I have this one? When yeah. can I have this one? Yeah, oh, and I was just saying to the camera, it's probably a little bit disappointing that everyone's asking whether that's available for a Gladiator. Yeah, it's not really crystal clear. It is a Gladiator. Yeah, people just don't get it. I think they think that uh, the guys at Dynatrack have just cut down a, a JL. But I think when all the videos come out, the YouTube, it's going to be awesome. All right, so let's go for a quick walk around. How's the show going for you, dude? Good. Yeah, you having a good time? Easy, day. Good Easy. Day. Yeah. So we're trying to get a little bit of time away, but this is something right here. Let's spin around here that we were up here looking at yesterday. This is a Jeep concept of the Gladiator. So this is something that actually Jeep has done. And I reckon, Jeep, if you're watching, definitely release this and I will be number one I'll buy one I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. Well, actually we'll buy two we'll order two together Jeep if you can give us a deal reach out DM us talk to us you can get in contact with uh, either one of us but I'll give you a quick look around this let's have a look around so what they've done they set this thing up as like the full overland truck they've incorporated things like jerry can holders into the guards that is my favorite feature I reckon they definitely stay that. From an FJ That's the cruiser. Best thing on this old man. That is the best thing on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, how you doing? Whole interior is all set up. Look at this. Look at that leather in there. Look at the work in there. The dash, the colour scheme, like everything about this is just absolutely awesome. This is one of my favourite trucks so far that I've seen, and I haven't been around the whole show yet. Coming into the back of the truck, um, they've got this whole setup. Look at the blender in there. So that's a blender knob there. Push that forward, mix up some margaritas. I think this thing is awesome. You're still dreaming, aren't you? You remember our video from last year? I'm closer to this year than I was last year. I got the scout. Yeah, you've got, you actually got one. Let me flip this around. Let's have a talk about that. So last year, if you watched our video, our walk around uh, West last year, remember me and Maddie having bickering a little bit about a Scout or an FJ? Yep. And I have the FJ. And I have the Scout. Matt now has a Scout. Yep. Are you going to do something like this or what? Something real similar. Yours is cooler than this stuff. Well, mine's still like old now. Yeah. It's got character. Yeah, it's got character. But I've got to say these Scouts are bitching. But what we might do at some stage, you build the Scout, I'll build the FJ. We'll let everybody we'll vote. We'll, that's it. We'll make everybody vote. FJ or Scout? Chuck it in the comments on this video. I'll be keen to see what everyone thinks. Scout. If we got Scout. If we got more Australian followers, it's yeah, going to be the everybody's FJ. Everybody's going to say FJ. I know it'll be the FJ. What's up, guys? We're down at the Rhino Rack booth. And I'm a judge today. Yeah, and he's quite hungry. And I'm starving. So we're judging a cook-off. USA versus Australia in like a barbecue sort of cook-off. Let's get inside and see what this is all about.
come all the way to America to have a dinner on a piece of bread. Right? <laughs> How good is that? It's two points only. Two points. And it means it goes back to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call Bunnings, I want to be sponsored. <laughs> now, I've just come up to the campsite. There is Patriot campers scattered all around the campsite, everywhere. Just caught up with a, a bit of the crew. We've come up here and had breakfast and coffee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ambush everybody behind me and do a real quick walk around on uh, on some of these guys' rigs. So everybody, this is Al. Okay. Hi, Let's have a quick walk around. What do you run them? Show us your setup. Give us a quick look through it. Well, I mean, I don't really do a whole lot different than how you built it. I mean, it's built to do what it does, so I, I use it exactly that way. So we've got our fridge, we've got our stove. Yep. Everyone's jealous of the stove because... You got the bromic. I got the windbreak. <laughs> yep. But other than that, I mean, it's all pretty much the way you built it, and I like to use it the way you built it. Yep. Fast, quick, easy, and let's go. All right, Armando, you're up. Hello, everybody. Tell everyone where you're from. I'm from Southern California. Southern California, and you and Al travel together a lot, right? Quite frequently yeah. we travel together. Give us a quick look around your rig, what you're running. I'm running the Patriot Campers 2017 X2. Yep. You know. So this is one of the first ones in the States? One of the first ones in the States. Yep, and the, the, the X2 for you, that's... It's, it suits my needs. You're you normally know. traveling on your own or what? I'm traveling with my family usually, my wife and two kids. How do you accommodate the kids? Have you got um, like under the tapui? We all fit up there. All he is up in there? Yep. Yeah, but the tapui tent has an attachable uh, annex room. Yep. Yep. We hope one day my son will want to sleep on a cot down there. Yep. Plen plenty of room down there for a cot. Yeah. But for the most part we sleep all up there. Plenty of room up there. It's like yeah. a California king size bed up there. Yeah. Good on you, dude. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep moving around. We'll go to the next one. Sounds good. Good seeing you. You're up, dude. Yes. Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Greg. We're from uh, Orange County, Southern California. What are you rolling in? So, we got last year the uh, 18 uh, X1 GT. Yep. So, yep. And happy with it? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, we've got a family of five, so yep. three kids. Three kids. So, the kids' room is necessity yep to pack them all in yep so we've got some cots got the bunk beds so yeah depending on how how we're going to travel what the trip is going to be yeah we'll uh, pack what we need you but find it's uh, it's comfortable enough for the four yeah it's great so we've got eight four and two so yep. we can fit them all underneath we can put one up atop if we need to to yep. sleep with us yep uh, if we need a little more space down below but yeah it's been great let's have a look around because you know what in this this instance what you see what's going on behind you right now this is what happens when you travel with three kids. I know, you end up with gear everywhere. So, storage-wise, you mm -hmm. find you got enough storage in there? Yeah, we actually, everything we needed, I think we only had one or two things in the bed of the truck yeah. this trip, yeah. so. That's, and uh, that's what it's all about, eh? Yeah. We've just left the campsite. Jack, you having a good time? Oh, dude, it's so different. It's amazing, huh? Everyone here just loves to be here. Everyone yep. camps out, it's so social. It's just, it's a good time. Good people been a good time we love being here love being in america america i'm only going to show you a couple of really cool things that i found at the show and i found something that i think i need this is not a this is not a want this is a need <laughs> the shirt yeah, have you seen one of these good. before you happy to give us a run through sure just a quick walk around yeah so uh, yeah tires centrally inflated and deflated 15 gallon fuel capacity in each wheel for spare fuel so you have 78 gallons on board half a gallon an hour run 100 plus hours pretty easy so 15 1600 mile range possible Kubota turbo diesel okay Let's have a look inside. 2,000 pounds of payload. Yeah. Uh, you can add bench seats in here and carry up to eight people. Camping cots, fold down and put your uh, air mattress yeah. cot and sleep there. Chain funnel drive. Now, the, the most exciting thing about these is they are unstoppable. They float, so you can drive them out into the ocean, into a river, and obviously you see the paddles on the tyres, and you can literally take this thing anywhere. Yep. No, nothing stops them, right? Nothing stops them. I mean, any terrain you can think of. Yep. Pavement's about as big as Nemesis just because it's hard on tires. Yeah, let's get up inside the shirt. There's obviously a bit of a trick to getting into it. Like a race car, I suppose. So it's a five-speed manual clutch, yes. And then you got left brake, right brake. Okay. MSRP, what do they run at? In the, one, in the one, 110 delivered to your door in the anywhere in the US. Dude, that's not bad. Oh, um, dude, are you kidding? Sunroof or... Uh, Emergency skate patch. I'm for... thinking gun turret, but yep. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is awesome. How stable are they on water? Very stable. So what yeah. do they weigh? They're 2,800 pounds. So four, 1,400 kilos. Yeah. So. Uh, uh... Whoa. This will go on the toy hauler. 
2,800 pounds single axle. I was axle, singing this after you Single axle off. trailer and a half ton pickup. No, no, right no, 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 no. Not a single in. axle trailer, a TH730. <laughs> you need a TH730 to put your Sherp on. on. Yeah. All right, so we're going to we're gonna finish it up there, Sherp. This is one of the coolest things that I've seen. I'm only going to shoot a couple of things at this show. This is not a want, this is a need. Every man deserves a shirt. Thanks, man. You I bet. appreciate it. You bet. Hey, Ronnie, favourite product so far? That's a tough one, eh? That's a real tough one. The Sherp is pretty cool. The Sherp <laughs> is mad. That's been my favourite so far. Have you gone and checked out the Rivian yet? Yes, actually, that's my favourite product. Is it? The Rivian. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. I'm going to go check it out now. I want to go have a look. Yeah, that's like a bit of a future coming. Yeah. So the Rivian is an all electric four wheel drive. I'm trying to get my way over there, been trying to get over there for a couple of days. Let's check that out. I think that's going to be the future. We found it. It's right behind the unicorn and it actually exists. Are you excited to see the Rivian? Dude, this thing is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like full on game changer. We're going to have to learn some new tricks to be able to modify this. So let's go and have a look around. Let's go and check it out and we'll see what we can find out about the Rivian. All right, so we've just found Charles. Charles, how you going, mate? G'day, good. Hey. Yeah? G'day, you hear that? <laughs> An Aussie. Okay, so a bit of a background. Rivian is... Owned here in the USA. CEO, originally from Florida. The base, like the kind of main office right now is up in Plymouth. Yep. In Michigan. Yep. Uh, but we have five offices in the US and one in the UK. Okay. Uh, main manufacturing is going to be done in Illinois. Yep. Um, okay. We bought a manufacturing, existing manufacturing facility there. And yep. And that's being built out now for the Rivian production end of 2020 end of 2020 they're going into production but on sale now on sale now let's have a walk around man take us for a run through all right uh let's start at the front basically uh electric vehicle three different battery sizes the largest pack is 180 kilowatt hour gets 400 plus miles of range four independent electric motors yeah inboard motors with as long a drive shaft as we could fit 150 kilowatts yep. at each wheel or 800 horsepower all around wow uh, 300, sorry, 3,500 newton meters of torque. So three, three seconds, zero to sixty. What do you reckon? <laughs> wow. Is is this the Land Cruiser killer? <laughs> this is Peter Land Cruiser. Wow. Let's say that you're in a remote location. Yep. What options have you got of recharge? Wherever there's electricity, basically. Yep. Yep. Uh, in the US, 110 volt, you can recharge yep. on. Um, but any, anywhere you have electricity, you can plug in. So yep. that, that's your first option. We are looking at a kind of jerry can equivalent. Right. Which is basically an, an another pack. Battery. Yeah. And yep. Another pack. Yeah. Yes, so you could also run out of that. Yeah. <laughs> but then you're in the same situation as you would be if you were, you know, in, you know, using an internal combustion engine. Yeah. You run out of your jerry can. You're in the same position. Yeah. And yeah. depending on the pack size. Yep. You, it's an overnight charge. So. Okay. Overnight you know, charge on three phase power. Uh, not three phase. No. No. Two you phase. just it's two, it's two phase or single phase. But you you just basically need to have a higher voltage than 110 to get your charge time on. So yeah. Features, let's run, let's run right. through it. So that's a bit of the tech stuff. Okay. So features, a uh, good start is the front trunk. Yep. Um, so aluminium predominantly. Yep. Chassis aluminium predominantly. There's yep. steel sections in there for safety, high tensile steels and bits and pieces in, in sections around yep. the vehicle to enable us to reach our five star end cap crash gotcha. target. Yep. 270 mil of articulation wow. at the wheel. 14 inches or 360 mil of ride height. We got yep. 40 from ride height. And the highest was? So 14 inches. 14 inches, okay. And one final feature is what we call our comfort valves that yep. open up between these two roll circuits and allow you off-road. It just can completely remove the head toss. Right. So you total comfort off-road as well when you want it. There's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on. There's a lot, a lot, lot of control on. system stuff. Interior? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Not a lot of switches. Most of your interaction is going to be on this, this center console. So this is going to be an autonomous vehicle? So basically we are releasing the vehicle with the sensor set right. that enables this three plus levels of autonomy. So that's yep. hands off the wheel, eyes off the road. Wow. Look, there's plenty of videos of these things online. We can get a bit deeper, I suppose, but uh, the interior really comfortable. And it's, it's huge. Let's go down the back. The back's pretty exciting. So I think that's like one of the huge advantages of this lockable space that you don't get on most pickup trucks. Yep. Yeah, all electric induction cooktops, which heat up incredibly quickly. Yeah. And then a little electric water heat. Very cool. Don't need gas now. Get hot water in about three minutes. Uh, electric tonneau cover. So this is a hard top tonneau cover. Basically, the, the roof top mounts are adjustable. You can see it at the top, they basically extend so you can use the same roof mounts up the top as you can on the back. Yep. Mount whatever you want. Yep. Um, they're pretty adaptable and you can see we've got a tent on it today. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Mate, look, we're going to wrap that up there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Really so that was absolutely yeah. amazing. Here's a question. Put in the comments. The trophy truck you saw the other day or the Rivian? I'll be interested to see 
I'll be interested to see the comments. Rivian, check him out. Keep an eye out, guys. This is the future, whether you like it or not. I know all of our V8, petrol heads, Land Cruisers, all the rest of it. You cannot ignore this. You can't ignore it. Check him out. Just run into this guy, Trail Recon. If you haven't seen him, check out his YouTube channel. Stand out of the show for you. Stand out of the show. So this is a little bit unfair because uh, it's something that's at your booth. But that Jeep Gladiator Dynatrack build with the truck bed on the back, man, uh, I spent a lot of time just checking that thing out. It is so cool. You guys did a great job with that build. I love it. Awesome. And I'm going to throw in there, this is not a paid commercial. No, not at all. <laughs> Good to see you, Good man. to see you, buddy. I finally, finally jagged him down. I've got gotcha. you. Day, th <laughs> day three. It's taken three days to get anywhere near him. It's been, the show's been crazy, it's huh? It's a busy show. It's a busy, yeah. busy show. But We've got something pretty exciting to announce. We certainly do. The and, Toy Hall. And it's right here. Yeah. Right behind me. The TH610, the first one on US soil. Another present you got for this show. We got another updated present. Yeah? We got the X1H. The X1H. H. H. I'll the X1H. H. <laughs> sure, no problem. Yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> that's, so, that's my American coming good. What do you think? We're very excited about yeah. it. We like high speed yep. stuff, and uh, we're, we're moving every single day. Yep. So having it, the X1 with the hard top and yep. the motor lid that lifts up and just pops out, Easy, that, man. that's built for us. No canvas touching the floor, yep. everything off the ground. Yep. Um, it's like, and I remember when even we'd done that trip out to the Simpson. Yep. You guys roll really similar to how we roll uh -huh. and that's what the x1h was all about it was meant to be that quick super fast super fast setup so yeah. i'm excited to see what you think of that too me too and uh we got the both of our trailers this year in the in the gray yeah the graphite graphite yeah. yeah and we love the graphite we wrapped our trucks in it so yeah. the so you, you would have seen the the tundra um we'll, we'll get a few shots of the tundra yeah. the tundra looks amazing yeah. the, Thank the you. wrap is it's clean it, it looks like a brand new car we updated the fleet and with your two trailers, yep. the X1H and the Toy Hauler, yep. we're looking pretty hot. You guys year. are looking good. How's the PCOR system working for you? This is what we tell everybody. So we do film production and you either live in a truck or work out of a truck. Yep. You know, that's kind of the two systems that you have. And with the PCOR, it is the best truck we've ever worked out of. That's amazing. So I mean, I can't wait to see what the feedback is here. Obviously, tried and tested in Australia, but now in the United States through you guys with the full Patriot lineup now, with the Toy Hauler, yeah. the X1, and the PCOR stuff. Yeah. And the feedback we've been getting through Clay, a few modifications that we want to make for the sure. United States. Yep. So Clay gives us that information back. We make a few tweaks, make a few mods, and that passes all the way down to our customers, which is which is pretty cool. So it's not just all about you know getting Patriot campers out in everybody's face. Mm -hmm. It's about getting that, that feedback um, about what we can improve yeah. on and make it better. And working with you guys, uh, I can say that you're probably the company that has the highest speed of innovation that I've seen. That's awesome, man. But there is a massive storm about to blow in now. This afternoon, we're meant to be heading out down to the Grand Canyon to do the big uh, photo shoot with Overland Journal on the Gladiator. I don't think that's gonna happen, Savo. I know these guys have got to roll out tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna take the opportunity to do a really quick walk around, but I'm gonna have to come back to the United States. Awesome. Um, when this truck is complete, and do a proper video on it. Let's do a whip around now, just in case I don't get to do a final reveal, which it's looking like it's, it's not actually gonna happen. So you can see here the Dynatrack Gladiator, it's not completed as I said before, but what these guys have achieved in 12 days is just absolutely ridiculous. So that's 7.2 litre Hemi. You got Dynatrack front bar, TJM winch. It's running on 35s at the moment, but the plan is to get it on 40s with some big Fox suspension. They're gonna do something crazy in the back end of this and it's gonna have the Dynatrack 80 in the rear and a 60 in the front. Now the cabs, they've taken about 20 inches out of the back door, as you've obviously picked up by now. And the wrap, I'll be honest, I wasn't really sure about the color when I first saw it being wrapped, but I really, really dig it. They've got all the overlanding sort of gear starting to get fitted out to it, but there's still a lot more to happen. Rhino Racks have developed this platform at the front for it. Inside, obviously, you got no back seat now. So all you got is the two seats. I'm not sure what the plan is for the interior. That wind, I mean, look at this guys. It is about to get buck wild. It's gonna start snowing tonight. So it's starting to get a little bit crazy. Everybody's peeling out. We've pulled everything down from here. In the back, you got the Pecor Gladiator bed. So this bed was designed for a standard uh, four door Gladiator. It's fit perfectly. They got the mounts all sorted out for us. You got the Dometic upright fridge all aluminum construction but you can see more about the PCOR gear in other videos and coming around this side obviously the whole red arc setup so guys unfortunately i think that's going to be about it before this goes absolutely pear shape you can see what's going on around it's starting to get a little bit crazy everyone's 
everyone's just packing down their gear. They want to get out of here. What are you doing up in there, Craft? Oh, dreaming. Huh? Thinking and dreaming. Oh, dude, you need one so bad. I think so too. And I need one. Let's get two of them. We Matching need, colors. We need to do a package deal. Package deal. He's get, the guy to talk to. Can I get in the back? Yeah. Let's go. Let's roll. This is pretty rad. What do you think, dude? Whoa. I said before, this is not a want, this is a need. <laughs> it's a need. You need one. <laughs> this is awesome. Well, I'm going to enjoy the sherb now. <laughs> That about sums it up. Yeah. Overland Land Expo. I changed my mind on what I thought the coolest thing was. <laughs> yeah, I think the shirt. Now it's the shirt it's definitely the shirt. All right, guys, that's it. Overland West done for 2019. And you can see now it's starting to rain. The snow's coming down. How's everyone? Literally there it comes. Like, literally, <laughs> literally, it is snowing. Who had a good time? Yeah. Oh my God, so yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Who, who didn't have a good time? Yeah. Awesome time. <laughs> Justin didn't have a good time. The whole team here, Patriot Campers USA, Dynatrack, Off-Road Bully, Ronnie Dale being out here, been absolutely amazing. Now to see where we get to next, you're gonna have to flip over to Ronnie Dale's channel. And by the time we launch this video, I'll chuck a link up and you get to see where we're going for the next five days. It is gonna be awesome. Can't wait to get back to the USA. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. <laughs>